One of the biggest problems when you learn English for the first time is you think the present simple is for actions happening now, like I speak to a microphone. It's wrong. But how do we use the present simple and the present continuous properly? Let's find out. So on the screen you see the present simple and the present continuous separated into four general uses,、um, but they all have a theme. With the present simple, we're looking at things that stay the same. So. Firstly, descriptions that are true now. So she seems happy, and you could even go into describing someone's age, characteristics of them. You'd all use the present simple for the for this because it's descriptions of, that are true now.、Um, things that are always true would use the present simple. The sun sets in the east. It's always true. And take care. If you are writing using the present simple,、uh, but the intention in your writing is to discuss different points of view, if you use the present simple without any other words to make a phrase less certain, then when you use the present simple, it sounds as if you are saying something that is fact. Your reader will read it thinking this person believes this is a fact. With the sunsets in the east, I think everyone will agree that is a fact. But sometimes students can make mistakes where they will use the present simple to make something look like a fact when actually they were just intending to share one possible option out of many. So take care there when you use the present simple. Think about how that's received by the reader. But things that are always true use the present simple. Arrangements that always happen. So this restaurant opens at five o'clock or seventeen hundred hours, and routines or habits. I travel by bus on Fridays. So thing these are all things that stay the same. The present continuous, on the other hand, is for things that do not stay the same. So, firstly, actions happening now. She is singing a song. It's happening now, and this is the true present tense. This is the tense that tells us what the situation is at this moment. So, actions happening now. She is singing a song. Things that are temporary. So, I am staying with friends today. So, whereas a present simple, things always true. Present continuous, things that are temporary. Arrangements happening once. So we are meeting next weekend. Present simple arrangements that always happen the same. Present continuous arrangements that happen once may not necessarily be the same next week. And finally, things that are changing. For example, this town is becoming busier. So if you're trying to describe a change that's happening between the past into the present into the future. Then you would use the present continuous, even if this is a static change. You would still use the present continuous to express that sense of change. But you could sum this all up by saying the present simple is for things that stay the same. The present continuous are for things that do not stay the same. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get all of the latest videos, or click the video in the corner for the next one in the series.